Videos 82 here, and it's time for another G.I. Joe toy review. And today we're going to wind the clock back a little bit to 1993. We will be looking at Scarlet version 2, also known as Ninja Force Scarlet. This is in celebration of Ninja Month, which I am collaborating with uh, uh, Cobra Island, a.k.a. Mark Hoke. Um, so throughout this entire month, we'll be looking at ninjas. And I was thinking, man, I'm starting to run out of ninjas. Um, not impossible for G.I. Joe. For me, yes. And I, I got to look at it and it's like, okay, I still have Ninja Force Scarlet. I still have uh, Storm Shadow version 2, version 1. I have um, the Storm Shadow right up here. The classified series. I have a Red Ninja back here that was a Joe Nation from um, Vinny C. Um, so thank you again for that, Vinny. I keep them right up here proudly. That way I see them every day when they come and sit down, along with other Joe Nations that were had come in from um, they gone another really good friend um he's a veteran so all respect to you buddy um yeah you, know, you did you did well you're doing well thank you um so this scarlet um she came in um 1993 uh, was on the pegs until 94. Uh, she was released as a part of the 12th series. And um, the Ninja, Ninja Force, for some weird reason, were numbered 1 through 7. Scarlet was number 4. You didn't have to buy them in any order but they were updating the packaging so why not just number them to this day i can't figure that out maybe it made a little more sense to the 90s kids uh so joe fan 82 if you're watching did that um make a difference for you or any of you that were um come growing up in the 80 or the 90s and you were just experiencing gi joe did those numbers really mean anything for you uh, her she came with a plethora of weapons as they all did they were attached to the weapons tree and um, after a while I really started to like those when I mean after a while I mean within the past year or so I started to like the weapons trees at first I thought they were annoying you know it was a uh, being just being lazy they they just left them on the tree instead of clipping them off and um packaging him them F but i i see some wisdom behind that one you're cutting back on a little bit of manpower by saving those people from having to clip those off um and you could reallocate those people for other tasks in the factory two that kept people from peeling open the bubble and stealing the accessories so that was pretty smart uh, i could can't tell you how many joes i had to pass up that i didn't have that i really wanted because there's the last one on the peg and somebody stole a few of the accessories the only one i did that with was metalhead and somebody stole his um, primary backpack, where the backpack with the missile launcher. So it was years and years and years down the road before I bought another one. Uh, another metalhead got him very cheap, complete. So um, I just didn't have to buy the backpack. But that's a story for another day. Uh, so we'll take a look at all of those weapons. Uh, about her packaging information, uh, there was a card variant on her. Um, one card was a little bit wider than the other. 
and this was a standard card. The thinner one was your standard um, card back. Um, the back of it was pink, bright pink, um, chartreuse, or not chartreuse, that's a different color, but uh, neon pink. Her original retail price was, survey says $4.99. Uh, I did not pay $4.99 for her. I found her in a bargain bin right out in front of KB Toys. Um, so there was, they were two for, um, two for five. So I got her for $2 50 cents. She did make a comic book appearance in the Marvel comic series. Um, this, by this time, Snake Eyes was incredibly hot. So it, Marvel comics had a picture of Snake Eyes right under the Mar Marvel logo. This was issue 136. It says G.I. Joe, small lettering at the top. I'll show you a picture of it starring Snake Eyes and Ninja Force. So this was just a, this was, was the spe, yeah, specifically for Ninja Force. Uh, and there was also a variant on her head. And I'll, I'll pull up pictures of that. One just rotates side to side, and the other was on a ball joint. The one that came out in 93 was ball jointed. One in 94 was rotated side to side. This one, fortunately, has a ball joint, but her head just doesn't rock all that much. So um, let me pull those pictures up for you, and we'll take a look at those, and then I'll, I'll get into the review. So, in 2017, Scarlet got, they modernized the version of the Ninja Force Scarlet. Looks so much better. They redid the articulation on her as they did with all the new figures. And she looks so much better than this one. I'm not saying this one is bad. There are some things that are a little off on her but the head sculpt I really like. So my childhood memories with her, um, I was working at the mall. Um, this was my senior year. Pardon me, throat's dry. Um, <coughs> We have a forest fire going on. A couple of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So all the particulates in the air is just killing my asthma right now. Um, so I was, um, is my senior year of high school. I was 18. And I was still buying toys, but yet I was kind of embarrassed. Uh, I have discussed that before. Yeah, even, especially in my adult years, I was still collecting toys, not really paying much attention or not really giving much thought to other people buying toys. I would go to toy shows, toy fairs, Comic-Con, and I would see adults buying toys. I'm thinking, oh, okay, they're buying them for their kids. That's cool. Um, and I, I thought I was kind of weird because I was still buying toys as an adult. But it wasn't until many years down the road that I realized, you know what? Adults are buying toys for themselves. That was in the mid-90s when Star Wars was coming right back out into the theater when they did the, the re, reboot of the, the original three episodes, um, four, five, and six, something like that. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that's why I really started realizing it, but I was still kind of a, I was a closet toy buyer. So I um, was working at a store called Coach House Gifts. 
Um, I don't know if they're around anymore or not. Uh, the corporation that owned that company was Walker and Associates. They also um, owned a store called It's a Small World. And I worked up there too. Um, Coach House is the bottom floor. It's a Small World was on the top floor. Since it was the same company, I could just clock in and and not have to worry about two separate paychecks. Um, it's a small world. We we sold toys there and um, T-shirts, stuffed animals, things like that. Coach House was more posh. Um, I had to wear a shirt and tie there. Uh, we sold collectible um, figurines, uh, Mary's Moo Moo's Precious Moments. Uh, Boyd's Bears, uh, things like that. It, there's one section that was strictly Hallmark. Um, and we sold a few little gadget toys, um, you know, those little kinetic things that went back and forth. Uh, we sold souvenirs, stuff like that. But anyway, that's where I got my money as um, a teenager until I graduated and then I started working in healthcare. Um, so I snatched up Scarlet because I didn't have Scarlet, Mr. Um, in the first run and regretfully so. I was even regretting it then because I really liked her. So I grabbed her, um, brought her home, opened it up, looked at it, played with the features a little bit, right into a box she went. So I have all of her accessories. So without um, any more gum flapping about her, let's go ahead and take a look at her. She is pretty cool. Uh, the head sculpt in particular, the technology was a little bit better, so they, they made her look really nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. See if I can get, reach the pause button. Okay, here she is, Scarlet. Looking pretty good. Uh, let's get her accessories out of the way first. Um, if I get her stand up. I don't have her figure stand, so I apologize. She is not 100%. Oh, she came with this generic style yellow sword that was used with um, all the other uh, figures. Looks like a katana. I would call this a wakasashi, but it, the blade is a little too wide. Um, she also came with this sword. It's almost a scimitar. Don't know the name of it, but this would have had some tassels down at the bottom if it were real to help kind of dazzle your opponent. Uh, she came with a knife. This looks like it was Hit and Run's knife. Uh, came with a pair of nunchucks. Um, a lot of times you'll find them on the aftermarket where they are bent. Mine are still relatively straight because I never used them. And she came with a pair of claws, which I think Snake Eyes version, or not Snake Eyes, but Storm Shadow version 2 came with those first. So looking at the action figure herself, she is wearing a leotard over these lime green or chartreuse um, leggings. She has um, black boots, but they are covered with the armor so she could kick and do kicks and not bang up her shins. Really cool knee pad. Uh, came with a gun. Pretty interesting. On her elbows, she has chartreuse pads. Um, and a serious wedgie from her leotard. This style of leotard was very popular back in the 90s um, from women who, who used to work out. It's a real fashion show going to work out. I don't go to the gym anymore, so I don't know how they dress. 
but uh, she has this red rope or piping going around her leotard. She has a baseball grenade on the front because why not? Uh, she, what's G.I. Joe without grenades? Uh, she has two throwing knives here in the back, painted gold. Uh, this gold armor on her body. By this time, they got the armor or the gold and silver paint done right so it didn't wear off as easy. Uh, she also has her black belt done up in a velvet fabric. And look at her head sculpt. She is, that's actually fairly attractive for a toy. Uh, green eyes. And on the back, she has a plastic ponytail. Uh, these tend to get a little messed up sometimes, but using that um, horsehair shampoo will straighten that right out, believe it or not. Alrighty. So she. Let me catch my breath here. Um, she is a relatively decent action figure. You know, if, you, if you don't have her, pick her up. I forgot the most important thing. These guys came with a special martial arts action. Everyone is different. Um, her left leg moved normally, but her right leg, if you pull it back, there we go. If you could see that. Pull it back. She has a ninja kick action. Left leg doesn't do it. So that's why she has this unibody construction. Um, the legs break off your SOL. She's sonic welded. No O-ring. No screw in the back. So they did that to give that little gimmick. Snake eyes is the same way you squeeze his hand, legs together and his arms move. Um, I have the Ninja Forces R10. I think I uh, reviewed him a while back. Um, I can't remember what his ninja power was. I think it was like a, a punch or something. So it was kind of like a Masters of the Universe gimmick that they had on these figures. Uh, it was 90s. It was Ninja 90s. So I don't have her file card, so I will read it for you off of yojo.com, one of my favorite uh, G.I. Joe websites. File name O'Hara Shauna M, serial number RA24297634, and 857-8675309, called Jenny Jenny. She's still an E5. She's still a sergeant, three-stripe sergeant. She's from Atlanta, Georgia, primary military specialty counterintelligence. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm counterintelligence. I'm smart enough to put all my groceries on the counter when I walk in. That way I'll put them on the floor and trip. Uh, secondary military specialty is classified. I think counterintelligence would be classified too. Maybe? Uh, she does have a motto, beauty may be only skin deep, but lethal goes to the bone. Oh, watch out, she has bad bones, needs to take more vitamin D and calcium. Scarlet began her training in the martial arts at the age of nine and was awarded a black belt at the age of 15. She was not only physically ahead of her time, but mentally as well, she graduated Hakuna Matata, or I mean Summa Cum Laude, from two Ivy League universities. Come on, this lady must be rich or deep in debt. And went to Excel training courses in all four branches of the armed forces. They really over-exaggerated this file card. 
Cobra often mistakes her for just a pretty face and rather a member of the G.I. Joe's elite force. While she makes her makes her perfect for undercover missions, she is a great friend to each of the Joes, especially Snake Eyes. And um and a deadly cobra enemy. Is she friends of Snake Eyes and a deadly cobra enemy? Or are they referring to Snake Eyes? Oh, she's friends to Snake Eyes, comma, and she is a deadly, co she's deadly to Cobra. I get it. Uh, her file card would have been numbered on the back, showing you which number is what accessories. Number one is an XL or X. JT baseball grenade, yellow armor plate, elbow guards, flexible layer body armor, custom oak handled six shooter, uh, short sword, deflecting chin guards, Mushu Banawa um, climbing rope. Okay, that's what's wrapped around her. Um, standard issue nunchucks. Every, everything should have been standard issue on these guys because all Ninja Force seemed to come with it. Uh, quick to toss throwing daggers, which are hidden on her back. And the uh, two variants on the neck joint. Um, one does go back and forth, and the other is um, where her head will just turn side to side. But mine, you could see if you could see that. Her hair, it barely rocks back and forth. Um, so there you have it. Scarlet, um, all for information. <clears throat> so now, my mouth is getting dry and all my water's gone. Um, Oh, that's right. So now let's get to my favorite segment, Byron's Gripes. My disclaimer, I use eBay only for a reference. Uh, I'm not picking on eBay. I use it often. It's a very good service. I buy and sell on eBay. I, I don't pick on the sellers. Some of these prices get a little... Um, uh, outrageous, making it harder for your average nine to five knuckle buster uh, that has a family, a growing family, um, and a lot of expenses. Makes it harder for kids who want to collect to buy these toys. Um, the best, you get better prices at toy fairs, toy shows, um, comic cons, and at your local toy stores. Uh, vintage toy stores. Uh, some people have gotten upset with me recently. I've received emails um, asking me to not be so harsh on the prices. Um, I I get it. I I completely understand. I'm sorry if that I offended you guys. Um, this is for for entertainment and for knowledge. Um, People right now, a lot of people are still out of work because of the pandemic. And they're using eBay as their primary source of income. So, yeah, that adds to the inflation or the joflation of these prices, um, especially on the Target um, exclusives, the Cobra Island. Major blood is out, and those prices are nuts. A hundred bucks or more. I tried negotiating with the guy selling his for ninety nine, and I got up to ninety four fifty with the go. You could send out five prices. I just wanted to see how high he would go. Of course, if he accepted it, yeah, I would have to honor that and pay for it. But I wanted to see how low he would drop. He only went down. He declined ninety four fifty. 
So I'm thinking he wanted $95 or $99. So people aren't really coming down off these prices. And I completely understand that you guys need to make money off of this. So please forgive me for upsetting you. Um, I'll be a little more... What can I say? Uh, what word am I groping for? A little more sensitive to to that. So I'll read off these prices. Um, I won't get upset over them or pretend to get upset. Sometimes I do pretend. Um, other times it does get under my skin with how high these prices are. I won't quote the auction prices because those will change unless it's a pretty significant one that fits in with the conversation. So you can actually get one carded, which isn't too hard to do with these with the 90s figures. This looks like the first run. Um, yeah, she has the ball joint neck. Uh, she bought this individual bought this at Toys R Us for $2.99. Not bad. Uh, $24.99 carded not bad deal of the day on that here's one it says very nice condition no accessories $14.99 here's one complete let me see if it is complete um, for some people this would be complete because she has all of her weapons but she doesn't have her figure stand so some people will say that's not complete, but she has her uh, file card, $24.99 free shipping or better offer. So I'm calling that one complete. Here's another one complete with no figure stand, $21.99 deal of the day. Here's one bare bones, no accessories, 13 or better offer. One with a sword, $14.99. Um, Here's one carded, $28.99. Again, I'll put that with deal of the day. These later 90s figures are a little bit cheaper to find on the card still, which is really nice. Here's one that is 100%, has the file card and the figure stand, $19.99. Fabulous deal. Um, that is a steal. Uh, so deal of the day on that. The card back, very good condition, four ninety nine. Um, search and destroy. M two, trouble for Scarlet X. Oh wow! This is a really cool card. I didn't know these existed. It came from the commercial, the, with the live action. That is really neat. Um, why didn't they use her in the movie? Now uh, she probably would have been a little too old. But wow, she's attractive. That is a cool card. Two bucks. Um Yeah. That's not but that's I like that. I've never seen those cards before. Oh well, here's a card at one twenty ninety uh, twenty nine dollars. Um, Nunchuck 199, bare bones. This one's shipping from Greece, so you're going to pay 18 bucks in shipping. No accessories. Um, $5.99, another carded $25 deal of the day. This one is a bit expensive for not having the accessories. $20. Bucks. Um, here's another one carded $29.99. Her um, broadsword. This, this is, no, it's this one. Uh, book forty nine, another one dollar ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. Ink, no accessories, twenty nine ninety nine. The swords are a buck ninety nine each. Okay, these are getting pretty, pretty expensive here. There's one that's carded. Um, forty seven, one for thirty six, one for three hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh, uh, okay. They had an AFA graded, so they paid two hundred bucks to have that graded. Uh, as an eighty-five, which is near mint. Um, yeah, you have to recoup your money. I understand, but I'm not an AFA collector. Her accessories are all buck ninety-nine. 
file card, two bucks with uh, 445 shipping. Um, her claws, okay, this is interesting. The 469, the knife, 345. Um, hmm, interesting. Uh, the comic, uh, 2849, $12.60, $19.99 for the comic. So these, the prices on comic books are going up. I, I was going to a comic book shop two years ago and I was buying, they couldn't get rid of their GI Joe comics. So I, I literally bought everything that they had. Um, the, they were selling them at buck 99 a piece. So one payday, I went down there, bought half, put the rest on reserve, came back and bought the other half. And I told them if somebody wants to buy them and, you know, within the next two weeks, don't hesitate to sell them, but I promise I'll come back and buy them. So that's how I end up getting a lot of my comics. And of course, um, Vinny C made a very, very generous donation uh, of comics. So Vinny, again, thank you very much. I enjoyed those. Uh, 25 for a loose complete comic, 1050. Here's another one for eight, another comic. These are different variants of comics or different issues. They're still the Ninja Force and Snake Eyes. Um, nine dollars twenty cents, thirty five. So, um, you guys get the the idea. Um, you know these are popular figures. Comics, thank goodness, are starting to really come back into play. Um, the market was really soft on those for a very long time trading cards as well the market is getting better on those um so there you have it guys here's my review i'm sorry it's been it was more verbose than others um but there's a lot to be said about this action figure she is really really neat um the gimmicks i'm not all that fond of the bright colors i don't mind either but um way too many accessories she's neat but um, i'm still putting her kind of in the middle you know a little mediocre um given that she has so many accessories which are just absolutely not necessary um sometimes less is more and the fact that she's not o-ring doesn't have a screw in the back if you have to make any repairs so something breaks an arm a leg you're screwed. You had to go buy another one. But um, yeah, the Ninja Force, it's a very interesting line. Uh, it gets a lot of backlash from other people. Um, and that's that's fine. Um, yeah, there are people that simply just do not like the bright colors. And I get it. I, I really do. The, the traditional military colors are military. It's what G.I. Joe is about. And you would think that ninjas would be a little more covert. But this is something I learned from Nobody Doe. Uh, red and a darker blue, like a royal blue, were the traditional colors of ninjas. Uh, she uh, figures that the Westerners saw black from the artwork. Or seeing the um, dark blue and taking it as black from the ancient artwork that was done of ninjas. So she said it is red and blue for the ninja colors. So um, when I reviewed Jinx, she is your traditional ninja. It's not white and black like we use here in the western part of the world. Uh, so thank you, Nobody Doe. Again, you're a big help. And thank you guys for um, sharing your knowledge on that long sword that came with the Red Ninja. It is an anti-cavalry weapon, which I was kind of speculating. It's a longer sword, so you could take a man off the horse or a woman, and you win the horse as a prize You know, in combat if you kill that individual. So, um, 
Thank you. I really appreciate your knowledge in that. Um, so please leave me comments. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a review, let me know and I will get to it. Uh, if I have that action figure, um, I really love doing those special requests. I'll be doing a couple more toy builds in the future. I have um, the Sergeant Savage Grizzly Jeep um, that I will build and I'm kind of flirting with the idea of doing the lightning cycle. Um, everybody who has attempted to do one, to build one, has broken the front forks on the motorcycle. So I need to really look at that part and see if I could put it together without breaking it. Um, I picked that up boxed of all things at a vintage toy shop for a song and a dance, meaning it was very cheap. You know, I just had to sing a song and dance to pay for it kind of thing. It was very cheap and that's why I bought it boxed. So I do have a Ninja Force vehicle. So anyway, without further gum flapping, I thank you again for tuning in. You guys are fabulous. And if you've stayed towards the end, stayed to this far to the end of this video, Thank you. Watching these videos to the very end does help me out um, on YouTube, uh, with YouTube. Um, the longer watch time really um, helps build my channel and that gets them advertising my channel more to grow. So when I do reach my goal of 500, uh, I lost a few subscribers. Those people were a little upset. Um, those were some of the people I feel that I had upset with um, uh, Byron's gripes. And again, I am sorry that I offended you, you guys for that. That was never my intention. Um, so when I reach 500, I'll be holding a giveaway. And those prizes are very good. They're complete and good condition. So it, I give away stuff that I would keep for myself, but I buy duplicates so I can do these giveaways. So you guys, 500 is the goal. I just need six more subscribers when I reach that goal. Yes, I will be holding a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, let's get the word out here about my channel. I want to do a live stream, but I was told by YouTube I need 1,000 subscribers to do a live stream and that will be my celebration when I reach 1000 I'll do a live stream so you guys stay safe out there there's finally more than a pinprick of light at the end of the tunnel there's a hole about this big so we can see some light uh, they're lifting the mask mandates in some states uh, if you're vaccinated their CDC is saying it's safe to not wear your mask uh, but if your your state says you still have to Please continue to wear your mask, continue to social distance. I'm starting to see some faces out there and I really enjoy it. I really, you know, for being an introvert, I actually miss people, miss standing close and talking to people in the, in the stores, or even if you step close, they're not stepping away from you now. Um, I've been, I'm fully immunized. I carry my card with me. If I'm ever asked, are you immunized? I have my card showing that I'm immunized. So if you haven't gotten it yet, please speak with your doctor, discuss it with your family. The side effects are very minor, um, but everybody does react differently. Our body chemistry is so much di so different from one another. Even twins, their body chemistry is different. So, you know, with me, I, my first time around, my arm was really sore, but some ibuprofen took care of that. Second time around, I uh, felt really tired. Uh, my mom actually got the chills for a few hours after on her second dose. So, yeah, it does affect people differently. Um, so please discuss that with your doctor. Um, please be kind to everyone. Goofy, goofy time right now in the world. Um, little kindness will go a long way, especially be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. 
So until next week, this is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. Take care, stay safe. I want to see you guys around for a lot longer. But right, until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Well, camera.